It's a really important and basic concept in Russian that when a noun appears in a given case, any adjectives or other modifiers must agree with it for case. That is, they'll have some endings to show that they are in the same case as the noun that they're referring to. В университете. В большом университете. В этом большом университете. Now here, университет has a masculine singular prepositional noun ending, е. Yeah. So in order to match that noun, большой and этот also take masculine singular prepositional endings, but you'll notice that they don't look like the noun ending. Even though noun and adjective endings for a given case may look different, they do need to match, and you'll see this pattern repeated over and over in Russian. So the basic ending for masculine and neuter adjectives is ом or ем, новым, старым, and we'll use ем after soft consonants, последним, синим. Next, feminine singular endings, ой and е. And the usual rules then will apply. We'll use ой after hard stems. Новый, старый, and ей after soft stems. Последний, синий. Now the five-letter spelling rule is going to be important for some words here. Let's recall that after ж, ш, щ, ч, and ц, we never write an unstressed о. We'll use a е yeah instead. For example, большой. Here the о is stressed, so we'll go ahead and spell the ending with an о. Большом. We can contrast that with хороший, хорошем. The ending in this word is not stressed, and we can't have an unstressed о after the letter ш, so we'll spell хорошем with е. Yeah. You might find it helpful to memorize a little phrase like мы живем в хорошем, большом, Городе. Or make a flashcard with this phrase and be sure to include the accent marks to remind you of why the endings of большом and хорошем are spelled differently. Other modifiers will also change in the prepositional and they'll have endings that look almost exactly like these adjective endings. Этот, этом, этой. Тот, том, той. Один, одном, одной. Чей, чьем. Che. And possessives. Moi, mayum, maye. Tvoi, tvayum, tvaye. Note that we're spelling the masculine and neuter forms with the letter yo. Nash, nashem, nashe. Vash, vashem, vashe. And we're spelling these endings, yem and ye, with the letter ye because of the five letter spelling rule. Happily, the plural is a lot more straightforward. All we need to remember is this one basic ending, spelled ich after hard consonants, novich, starich, and spelled ich after soft consonants, последних, синих. What about a word like vash? Here we want to keep the seven-letter spelling rule in mind. We can't spell u after any of these seven letters, so we'll use the ich spelling instead. Vashich. And finally, the question words кто and что also change for case. Кто becomes ком, что becomes чем. Examples. О ком он говорит? О чем она писала? В чем встречаться Новый год? This may seem like a lot of endings at first, and, well, it is a lot of endings. Uh, I'd advise you not to get too bogged down in all of the tables. Do be sure to do oral exercises out loud, uh, and read your homework aloud as well. The more often you say the correct forms, the sooner they'll start to just sound right together, just like I am versus we are in English. Summing up, basic endings for prepositional modifiers are om, yim for masculine and neuter, and oi, ye for feminines. Be sure to use yem and ye spellings after soft stems and after the letters of the five-letter spelling rule, depending on the stress. Plural forms end in ich or ich, and here you want to keep the seven-letter spelling rule in mind.